Hello and welcome to episode 29 of our Timberborn Update 5 Water Beavers playthrough here in cycle 30, day 2. Last time, we finally put our Badwater Bypass to the test, and it passed with flying colors. I, however, did not pass with flying colors because I inadvertently poisoned our reservoir just a little bit uh, by how I had water release. So, I think most of it at this point has been pushed through, but you can see a little bit of the hinting of some bad water in here, although it's not going to be nearly enough to cause any problems with our crops or anything else uh, for that matter. So, what we've got to do today is try and get something going on up here. Uh, had a couple of pretty good ideas uh, submitted from both the developer of the mod and this map and you guys in the community. So we're going to see what ends up working out best for us. Uh, there's a couple of small things we want to take care of as well. Uh, there were some loose ends up here that we probably should do something with. But uh, why don't we just go ahead and start tackling some of these little things. Uh, one of the comments left was that uh, this is not connected down here. It is now. Uh, it goes all the way across. Uh, we just have to get this kind of uh, connected, but that's going to be a little bit of a task whenever we get around to that. Uh, but for right now, the bypass does work. We just have to be careful with how we uh, let the stuff out of here. Because what happened was some of this overflowed. It came out so quickly here that it went up this way, which I do not think we want to be a thing. So we probably should go ahead and have a little bit more of this blasted out on this side so the water is disincentivized to uh, flow this way. But we got some time before we have to worry about that. Let's get this thing turboed and make our way elsewhere. So we have this crack right here. This is the big problem that we're running into, trying to figure out exactly how we're going to dam this whole thing up. And this is a space that we can put things in. I was just trying to avoid having a really stupid looking thing, but uh, we'll see what happens. If we get rid of this one piece of land here, then we can take our houses, go and look for two by two stuff. Look, we have these regular lodges, uh, but if we had something else that was two by two, we'd just go stack those things all the way up. We have the two story watertight lodges. That would probably be great for this purpose. And that was one of the things that was suggested. We also have somewhere else um, we've got uh, tank houses, liquid storage houses, that would actually hold some water, work as a levee, and be a place for the beavers to live. I think this is probably the best way to go, because we need more liquid storage anyway. So if we were able to get just this one corner put in place, we would end up with an opportunity to just have a couple of these tank storage houses. I don't know, maybe uh, it would end up being four of those or something. Just go all the way up, and then we can put ladders to make another access point over here. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. The only problem is that it takes a long time to get stuff over here. So we will need to go ahead and clear a path. So I'll just go straight line right here. And as soon as that's done, then we'll start building the ladders uh, with the, uh, the rungs facing maybe this way, I guess. And then... We'll just fill this up, and then when that's all finished, we can come up here and put in a Lido and a water dump and just have that be what it is. Before anybody suggests in the comments, use a water cannon. No, we cannot do that because this is too low. Our source of water is too low to actually blast any uh, in any meaningful distance. We could possibly from over here, but again, it's so far that it's really not viable. Our 30 degree water cannon, you take a look at where the uh, the flag is going, I can't really, uh, can't really show you actually. Yeah, because it's, it's only, it's not going to go over this mountain range, so that really wasn't going to work. What we could maybe, possibly, if we can figure something out do, would be to make a channel from over here and blast. But again, this is a 45 degree angle, so it would have to be uh, it'd have to be some some shenanigans. Sh yeah, some shenanigans. Say that one five times fast. Clearly, I cannot. Also, since we're here, I I forgot that this was a water source. I completely did. So uh, we just need to make sure that this can't backflow into here when there is a bad tide. It does not look like it can. 
I think this is just kind of peacefully flowing off the side of the map. But somebody reminded me that this was a thing. And I was like, uh-oh. Am I going to have to make another bypass? But no. It does not seem like this is going to flood. Remember, uh, this is not water leaking out. This is just a artifact of how the water is displayed in the game. So we're okay. All right, now that that's taken care of, it looks like this is ready for some ladders. So you know the drill. We'll get this popped in all the way up. And we'll utilize our suspension bridge one by one to uh, get this stuff figured out and just build straight up as one does. So... Once we have a couple of these ladders in place, they'll be able to put this uh, bit of dynamite in, and then we can just have our big old stack of tank houses, which you know is also going to be beneficial because we have these water pumps here, and they are probably going to want somewhere to store water. See, it just works. It's a good idea. Meanwhile, we just have this uh, entire trunk of these uh, <laughs> of these poles here. Uh, remember, update six got the partially built buildings uh, update. This is still update five. So to see this is kind of a nice surprise. So let's leave that alone for now and think about some of the other stuff we want to take care of. Again, there's tons of stuff we need to do, tons of stuff we can do. Uh, it was also brought to my attention that there may be an issue with the floodgate working at the edge of the map, which this is. So I guess we'll see what happens. This is basically already built, minus the scrap metal that it has to go find. So I'm not going to unbuild it, but... If there's weird, wacky behavior, we're going to know why. Now that this is all one district again, we probably could do a little bit more to uh, optimize how this is set up, uh, build some more stuff, so on and so forth. We've got lots to take care of, lots of stuff that we could possibly, uh, possibly figure out. But I know I can take this mine board out. We don't need that. And instead, I think we're going to want to start doing these uh, bad water pumps. Well, there's a couple different strategies for doing it. But uh, the consensus seems to be you build it down under the water or where it's completely submerged, but you block the entrance and then you blast out a path to the entrance uh, with the help of some clever placement of other buildings. The way this is set up right now is not really conducive to that. We'd have to do some modification how this is laid out. Uh, but the, the gist of it is you have to have the, I guess I could just pull this back up. You have to have this little propeller bit in the corner. It has to be submerged, which the, tells us right here. We have the small bad water pump, and then we just have the regular bad water pump. Uh, it all has to be researched, and right now we're actually making a decent bit of science, which is good because we need to build the ENS. So we're not going to research anything else right now anyway. But we need to figure out where to put that thing. We also need to check on how the blueprint, yeah, 1%, it finally started researching. So 16 days, 16 hours. Unlikely that this is finished in this episode, just depending on how long it takes for us to get something done. But at, a, at maximum speed, that is close to 50 minutes of research. And remember that this is not linear time. This is 16 days, 16 hours of a beaver work time, which right now is 18 hours out of 24. So this is, in terms of actual uncut gameplay, this is going to be over an hour, which uh, we're already 11 minutes into the video. So I don't think it's happening today, but it can get researched and we can be prepared. That's what we should be doing. Otherwise, uh, we've got some other stuff to take care of. Uh, I'd pause these mushroom growers because I was concerned about water usage. But that's no longer a problem, so let's just start making more mushrooms again. We've vastly improved our water pumping situation, so those can go get turned back on. Those go into a bunch of different things. Right now, our food situation is really not that good. We just have a big number up here because we have a whole lot of, uh, a lot of braised cabbage. But the, uh, the mushroom situation really needs to be fixed. The Hand of Soup is gloriously holding all of our braised cabbage, and it looks wonderful, but uh, we need a little bit more than this. And in terms of storing stuff like lemonade or water, we need more storage, which I have been promising forever to build a giant buried tank. We did research one of them, but I've got to find somewhere to put it, which has been kind of a problem this entire time. So we're going to we're going to get there. It's going to take us some time, but we're going to get there. 
For right now, though, let's take our... First of all, remember where it is. Um, tanks, yep. Liquid storage house. So if that goes there, and then there, and then there, all of a sudden, we're placed here. Look at that. Look at that. It is almost, almost tall enough. And that was, um, that was four of those. Let's do a fifth. And wouldn't you know it, this is this entire thing completely, uh, blocked off except for right here, which we could, uh, do with something else. But once these are all put in place, then we'll just have to have a little bit more going on right here. Then this can come across and maybe we put another house here. Who knows? Who knows what happens? But we are finally in a position to make good use of all of this stuff. The uh, skewer overhead platform, overhang platform, I'm sorry, is actually purpose built just for this. So I will go ahead and unlock that. We can use it in other places too. Uh, but to have another way to get on top of things over here is always going to be great. And since we just unlocked it, let's come back over here where our uh, quartz mine is. And we can pop this guy right here as well. Which is, again, the entire purpose behind this existing. Super easy. Uh, just put an overhang walkway on this side of this as well, which will give us another warehouse for quartz storage that we can actually click on this time. So that'll be nice. We'll have 288 quartz storage right here at the mine. We're not really using that much of it anyway, but this is a really cool thing that the Water Beaver mod lets you do. And we have got a little bit of space here to put another one of these if we felt so inclined. Or maybe if we were a little bit more adventurous with the placement of these things, we could put in a larger warehouse right on top of this, but again, we've got one right here. But since this is was already going to be wasted space if we didn't build it, we might as well just go ahead and do it. No reason not to. Although it is, um, it is kind of funny to see these lines here, because <laughs> you you know that's uh, you know that's not a thing that needs to exist. All right, where here we go. So this is going to be set for water as one does. And I guess since we're already, you know, on this whole bit, we might as well just set all of these for water. That's going to increase our capacity very nicely. And there we go. Now, up here with all of our rice, we haven't been able to do a whole lot with it. So uh, I got a comment saying that we should do some fermentation barrels and start making half fermented sake here because we have plenty of rice that again we're not using so since this is something that we could make good use of why don't we go ahead and do that i just got to figure out a great place to put it um i honestly don't really know if it matters that much but uh the way that this is set up i kind of want to blast these things down just so this is level but that's going to be a little bit of a pain to do. So maybe we, uh, maybe we just don't do that. Maybe we just don't do that. But I have space over here and we have so many of these, uh, little, uh, overhangs we could put in. That is a perfect place to put these fermentation barrels just right off the main path. And make sure these are all set to the half fermented sake. And then that can go into another... Uh, I forget what it's called, but the, um, uh, yeah, the thing, the thing with the name, that's what it's called. I can't even look it up because I don't remember what it's called, but, uh, distillery maybe? Oh, yep. This thing right here, it takes the half fermented suck and it makes strong alcohol. Uh, we just, we have so much rice now that we can't even harvest all of this and we need something to do with it. So again, putting it right here is a perfect, uh, use case. But the distillery is going to need to uh, going to need to start making some other stuff. And I don't really have. See, I'm not going to need plank storage up here or explosive storage up here. So this would actually be a perfect place if we just got rid of these two berry bushes. I can come in with the distillery and just pop that guy. Ah, but I can flip it. Pop that guy right here, and that'll be very convenient. Uh, and also kind of close to the stairs and the uh, the ladder to get out of here. 
just takes time to make all this stuff happen. So uh, I'm going to expedite this just so we uh, don't forget about it because we do have to wait until these two bushes are gone before we can put the distiller in place, whereas these will just get built eventually. We won't have to worry about it. I just got to send somebody in here right now to take care of this. And it looks like we've got one coming in and the other one. So we'll bring that in immediately. And bang, this is going to be set to make the... Of course, I can't expand that, but that's that's going to be making the strong alcohol from the half-fermented sake right here. Super convenient. Uh, the storage for metal blocks does not need to exist. The storage for scaffoldings does not need to exist, which means it can easily become another couple of these fermentation barrels. And we'll also need to have a storage for the actual... Uh, strong alcohol itself that hopefully the beavers won't just drink or they'll go blind but we've got an answer for that in the form of this mess here which please rotate please rotate thank you uh there we go and there we go there that will get deleted and then once these are built then i can place a tank of the medium size right on top of here right next door and hopefully that ends up making uh, making sense just gonna take some time I'm not really that worried about blueberries even though we do need them uh, I'm not afraid to get rid of a couple just so we can you know make something of the space that we do have so, so there goes that and there goes that set that to be for strong alcohol and now we can leave this alone for a little while, but I did want to make sure we did uh, this whole setup so we can start using some more of the rice. We've got plenty to take care of for sure. Look how, wow, we got this going to a very, very high level. Now we need to come inside our little, uh, little deal here and do something about all of this wood, which I believe... Well, I don't want to sit there and uncheck all of this stuff later. I'll just have to be careful about how far out this goes. I think, yeah, here I can do easy. I just want all of these trees to get cut so we can use this space without fear of having to mess with garbage. You know how this goes. So the idea is that this entire little bit here is going to be uh, set to be full. And then if we have it set to fill with our fluid dumps, uh, these should shut off when it reaches the same level. So all we have to do is just place a couple in uh, the correct height. And then we can either grow rice over here, which uh, presently doesn't seem like that's an issue, or we can detonate this down a little bit and we can move all of our lotus production up here. I think that's going to be a better use of our space uh, because rice is much more hardy to having the water go away than the lotuses are. So just want to make sure that that's set up appropriately. This is still waiting. How, how did they build the skewer platform before? Okay. Well, it's fine. I guess uh, they couldn't build this, but they could build this, even though it's... Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't think they could have been able to build that one first, but hey. That's, uh, that's fine. This is already in place. That is cool to be able to have that uh, extra storage like that. I like that. I've already built the barrels. Uh, the barrels are not currently being uh, filled, so I will prioritize those. Probably have to get some more haulers at some point soon, but for right now, we're looking okay. This is progressing. Ah, scrap metal is going to be the Achilles heel of this whole thing. Uh, lumberjack there. This this guy is still, still able to get something done here. Oh, you know, I forgot that this was a, uh, a little bad water stream. Huh. Okay, we'll have to do something about that. Hold up. These are clean water sources. Oh. 
Well, well, well. How the turntables. I, <laughs> I did not know that this was here. I don't know how, in episode 29, I'm just now discovering this, but... Yeah, um... We could very easily... Well, there's no there's no bad water domes in the water beavers. I don't think there's bad water domes, but um, yeah, it's going to be in our interest to uh, get this water situation taken care of. And we have look at this. We have these underground runes here. This is going to be our only chance in this area, at least, to uh, start doing the crazy human stuff. In fact, I you know I can't remember. Okay, there's another one over here. Well, I don't know if we'll ever get to uh, rerouting this, but that's a lot of clean water coming in here that we uh, otherwise did not know about. Exciting stuff. So this is, it's looking okay. I probably don't need to have uh, this set to receive anymore. Unless we decide we're going to be uh, blasting this out at all. I don't know that we need to, except maybe we want to, uh, maybe we want to block this off a little bit here. Now that we have ladders, we can kind of move this a little bit. Maybe we'll put a, uh, a safety levy somewhere. Yeah, in fact, uh, I think, I think that's going to be a smart move. Because that is, uh... That's going to become a problem pretty quick. So this can go, if I go here and here, this would actually be would actually be a perfect level to just come up straight like this. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. I should have foreseen that being a problem. So we'll just ignore that idea for the time being. But... At some point, at some point we can mess with this. Maybe. I also still have to build the dam out uh, the way that we've wanted it to be, but I have not done that. I have not done the planning on that. What we can do, since we have this space right here, and we have their suspension bridges, of course this is update 5, so they still take metal. Uh, I've got space here that needs to be crossed. I think I've got a 4... I did a 4x1 here and a 4x1 here. Yeah, that's not long enough. A 5x1 and a 5x1, I'm pretty sure would work. So if I did... No, I gotta save my science. I'll be good. I don't... Uh -uh. Okay. I know, I hear you. I can hear you in the, the back of my mind saying, No, don't do that. You gotta save your science for stuff that matters. I don't know why your voice sounds like that, but that's that's just the way it goes. Um, yeah, we, we've gotta just, we gotta just do something, man. Lumberjack flags. We got a yeah, we got lots of lumber to get out of here. Uh, so this, of course, will get us some of it. I guess we will need to uh, get a little bit creative about how to get around everywhere. But uh, you know, it all takes time. Just gotta make it happen. A little bit of a staircase down here. Should help us get around to the rest. Uh, it's not going to be like this forever. But we are going to have to wait a pretty... Uh, pretty long amount of time to get this whole thing taken care of. We just have to be able to do what we've got to do. Alright. I'm just going to cut this one down with the, uh, the good old... Hey, just get rid of this. Don't even bother saving the wood. Then that'll help us get everywhere else, get these beavers employed. Although we don't currently have unemployed beavers. Which is kind of a surprise given how big the population has been. Now that we have space here for them to live in, and none of these guys have jobs, that's going to help us a little bit. Just got plenty of stuff to do. Now why... Okay, they don't have metal fasteners. Did I... Did I do a stupid again? Oh, it's flooded. That's why. Okay. Well, it won't be flooded forever. That's set for gears. Or, not gears. Yeah, the spiky gears that cut things. So, uh, saw blades. Why Why is this flooded again? I thought we had kind of solved this problem, but maybe not. Yeah, scrap metal is... Uh, scrap metal's an issue. So, you know, 
I feel like... I feel like there's got to be a better way to do this. Is there a scrap metal thing similar to the... No, I don't see one. So I'm just... Uh, I'm just going to put three of these scavenger flags in. Now I've got unemployed beavers. I'm going to put three of these scavenger flags in so they can hopefully get more uh, scrap metal quickly. And then we also shouldn't forget about, now that we have the ladders, uh, having connectivity around this side as well. We have these pit and ladder lodges. And remember when I built these forever ago, a really, really long time ago, I was going to talk about how good it would be to have ladders uh, to get up to this area. So... I know it's going to use a lot of metal, but uh, let's, let's make it happen, folks. Put some ladders in here, get that done, and then get that connected here. They're not going to have any problem doing that. And then, of course, we can just put a side uh, entrance, one on top here, so we can still get to this little uh, ledge. But connecting up here is going to be great because it's going to get everything all set together. So that's good to go. This can go around and now everything I mean it, it's meandering but it is going to be a much more interconnected uh, better system and everybody knows we could certainly use that that's going to be a great improvement all right so this can get connected here and they're going to start uh, getting rid of these trees but uh, don't forget in the iron iron teeth, the water beavers. Why did I call these guys iron teeth? Uh, this can work, or not a uh, lumberjack flag can work while submerged to a certain extent. I think, unless I'm super wrong, I'm pretty sure they do. If not, then well, that's uh, that's on me. But we do need to start filling this up because this is able to hold water. Uh, under irrigation, we got Lido. See if we can find a spot that this is going to fit nicely in. Okay. Eh, we can make it work. We can make it work. I just have to get these trees out of here. Do a little bit of recreational blasting. Just to straighten that out. And then I will uh, make this happen the way it's supposed to happen. Give these guys a fighting chance to get something accomplished by putting a... Uh, storage pile, uh, literally anywhere, which right here should work. Good, it's a drought and not a bad tide, so that's going to be super helpful for us to not have to worry about stuff. Yeah, and this is the time when I wish the game had a higher speed setting than what it currently is now, because we're at the point where, you know, stuff just takes a really, really long time no matter what. And it's just, just a little frustrating, but it's fine. 58% folks uh, we're about 30 minutes in so I do not think unless this is a super long episode I do not think this will actually be finished today but what that means is that the next episode number 30 can be our ENS building or we could pre-build the building and just have the one item go in it we'll see what happens uh, but I am going to remain firmly wedded to my goal of having this set up in a way to uh why is it taking this wild brambles i'm pretty sure i could just path over those they shouldn't be wasting their time on that yeah let's uh let's help these guys out we'll have to go back and remove all of these paths later but they're spending all their time getting rid of these brambles that they don't have to actually cut down because i can just eat them out of existence nope go do something else Yeah, that should take care of just about all of these so that everything that's left is a tree. And these are these are dead. They will not come back. That was quick uh, to, to fill all these things up. Wow. Yeah, we, we got to get this thing going, folks. Let's get our irrigation. Got Lido here. We got, okay, this one can't go in yet, but this one can get started. I know it's it seems really stupid to do it this way, but there really isn't a better way. Uh, the uh, the water cannons can't shoot. I mean, I guess it can. This one can shoot up, but this this won't reach. Uh, this see the things in the way. It's not even gonna not even gonna have the flag anywhere we can reach it. Also, it has to be powered, which is an entirely uh, 
entirely different can of worms. So that's why we're not doing that before anybody asks. Uh, this will need to be put in place. I also have not forgotten about the large water tank. Uh, please note. But uh, again, it's something that's going to have to find a good place to go. And I'm not exactly sure of where I can put one. It's just just one of those things that you know just has to uh, has to be a thing. This is fully blocked off though, so uh, we can feel good about that. This is now put in place. Uh, I guess I could do a staircase here, or we could just do a ladder if we really. Uh, yeah, let's let's do a ladder so they can still walk through here. But we got some stiff to figure out for sure. Good news is this is almost done. And then we'll just have to have uh, water go in here. But there is no storage nearby. So uh, they're going to be filling it by trekking down here, which, you know, actually isn't that long of a... Uh, isn't that long of a trip. But we still need to have somewhere to put that giant water tank. It's such a pain. Such a pain to put this thing in here. Because it's got to have a 3x3... Three by three hole to go into. So it's going to be a process, folks. A very, very long process. But depending on what I want to put up here, it might actually uh, might actually work. I'm just afraid to commit to putting a giant hole in something and then it not actually being viable. Uh, this is also a huge waste of science to do the uh, the triples and all that, but I think we're going to do it, folks. I'm going to... Hold on, is that a tree here? Yeah, okay. We're going to start. We're just going to put this here because I think... Pretty sure... Yeah, it doesn't have those braces on this side, so that should actually work. Uh, get this thing out of here. Because I did say, I, I think I replied to at least one comment saying that we were definitely going to build a giant water tank in this episode, but uh, we hadn't done that yet, so I wanted to make sure we got that done. I don't like lying to you guys. Uh, these are in the process of being built. I don't think we are going to have to put in the, the little bridge spars to get this finished. They are having to go all the way around here to do that, so you know maybe it would uh maybe it would be faster. I, I I can always just get rid of them too. It's not that big of a deal. Yep, that should help. Uh, but what we can do is we can clean up our mess here. Get yeah, get that mess completely out of there. Uh, the water is continuing to uh I guess not do anything because this doesn't have anything to draw from. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. This is just going to evaporate probably faster than it can fill up until I can have an actual water supply up here. All right. You know the drill. We're just going and going and going and going. I guess I could have done this one at the same time. You know how it goes. At least there is a storage of dynamite uh, somewhere in this general vicinity. I'm also going to you remember what I said before about having this be completely a uh, completely combined uh, path ring up here. We just got to get that knocked out. I don't know if there's anything I can actually build. No. I'm going to have to keep watch on this uh, so we don't, you know, uh, get the brambles overrun this whole thing again. It all takes time. Always 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 takes time droughts almost here uh, I'm not gonna need to uh, not gonna need to have the floodgate dam messed with at all I don't think um, no we'll just we'll just leave it as it is it is a six day drought uh, so you know the drill we're gonna pause our uh, pumping as much as we can because even though, even though we have plenty of water, the rice is annoying to reset. So instead we get to do this. 
At some point we will have all of our water pumping not on this main river anyway. And that will make it a lot easier for us to, you know, go about our business. But until we get that taken care of, this is still, I think, a better way to do it. And we're not pausing the housing, so that's not a problem. We just got to make sure we keep doing what we are supposed to be doing. So that's taken care of there. Do the same thing here. And we will have a little bit of a labor surplus because the upgrades have been paused. But again, that is not going to be an issue. I want to keep these lotuses alive as much as I can before we uh, plant anything up there. So that is our water problem solved. We have this little bit up here that can keep pumping because it's down in the trench. But uh, yeah, that didn't last very long at all. This still hasn't even gotten all the way down into this little hole here. That's how long... Uh, how long of a problem that's going to be. Alright, so let's make this a little bit easier and get that situated. Once this is blasted down, then we can start blasting... You actually know there's one more because it's got to be three deep. So you can see this is, this is just a frustrating uh, experience for everybody involved. It absolutely is. Yep, see that? That's all drained into here. But that's good because now this is going to be uh, much harder to evaporate because it's, it's the water in a smaller uh, horizontal space. This also needs to be connected up here. There's just so much to do. So much stuff to do. See, this is already completely drained out. Or evaporated, one of those two. But that's fine. That's going to give us a chance to get these paths kind of connected. Since the brambles should not be able to spread if they're in the process of dying, which, you know, takes 1,100 days, but who's keeping track? This will help us out a lot, having access to this. It's just a very, very slow process. There are only a couple of these left, though, so we're looking good. These guys, I'm sure, are plenty tired, but, uh... You know what they say, the water beavers is suffering. That is, the, uh, the full extent of the water beaver experience is just doing this garbage. Are they going to finish today before they go to bed? What troopers these beavers are. Yep, that's going to be the last one as soon as he's done. Cool, so that's now fully connected all the way around. Uh, I have not been able to put the bridge in here yet because we're trying to save our science for the ENS. This is continuing to be whatever it is. Okay, so that's two. We got to go down one more. And then I can start putting that in. Uh, this isn't the only one we're going to put in. Don't worry. Uh, but I figured it would be better to have a bunch up. Yes, yeah, see that all immediately just went away. It would be better to have one of them up here than uh, not. So we can continue uh, putting in... Another one of these things. Uh, just put two right next to each other because there's really no reason not to. And we should be in a pretty decent spot if we can get both of those operating at once. Just always takes time. This can be set to... Actually, no, it can't. Because it has to actually have a base attached to it. All right, so that's three deep. Now that is one deep, and then we will come in after I click the wrong button, thank you. And get that done. Then these trees are going to have to go away so we can bury the tank. Prioritized by haulers. See, here we go, folks. It is getting deeper over here. Slowly. How's our... Uh... Cool, it's actually making some. Now there's not really anything in the tank, but... It is what it is. Food-wise, uh, mushrooms are still kind of a problem, which is a little surprising. But we should eventually start to see these other things go up. It, this stuff takes so long to do. Again, nothing is easy with the water beavers. Nothing is fast. Oh, these are both going, so this actually should be pretty quick now. All right, one more dynamite. Check our progress on... ENS is... Oh, wow, it's at 8... Seriously? It's at 89%. Well, that doesn't make any sense, unless this is the actual real-time thing. 
because the uh, the blueprints are just constantly going, even if the beaver is not working. I don't know. This is this was stated eighty nine percent, so I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, one percent of sixteen days, sixteen hours is a very, very long amount of time. But that's yeah, that that just ticked over to ninety. Well, I guess it's better to look at the end of the day, see what the number is, and see if it goes up overnight, than to just uh, check in a little bit before. Uh, no, that's going fast. So I don't know. Maybe it will be done, but we uh, we don't have the two thousand science anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, this is currently set to use the regular recipe, which requires the mushrooms, which we have plenty of. We also need to be making the brain-boosting salts, and I do not remember which alchemist it was. Okay, it's this one. And they need the bad water, of course. So there's just really, really poor optimization. But now that this is in place, that should help our bad water get around a little bit easier. Get rid of these things, because we don't need those there. Uh, exciting... Very good things are occurring here. All right, so that's done. We should now be able to finally, yes, finally put this thing in. All right, water. That is going to help a lot. And this is still filling up space here. I don't know if two is going to be enough to maintain this. But uh, we're going to try. We're going to see. It's going to be probably a whole lot of uh, before it gets better. But uh, I do need to check and see the range on this. Okay, that this guy can actually... Wow, he can reach the whole thing. This one can reach comparatively less. But it's, uh, it's working. Alright, so metal blocks, I have not nearly enough. Oh, because we built all those stupid ladders. That's where all those went. Metal fasteners are also being a slow thing. So uh, our factory, that currently can't operate because it's in a drought. Yep. We made 11 drill bits. Cool. All right, we're making um, we're making metal blocks now. Oh, and I need to do an engine too, but I don't have the science for it. Well, I do, but I really should be saving it for the ENS. Because we have all of that methane that needs to be used. I wonder, because this goes out. I could just, you know, stack this on top of this mess right here. Let's see if that's uh, going to make any sense, but we got options. We got stuff we can do. It just takes time. This is progressing nicely. Oh, yeah, we're burning through this rice. Something fierce. But it is, well, there's still no strong alcohol here, but it is should should be able to be used yeah the strong alcohol you know I'm so bad at this game I don't even remember why we were using strong alcohol except to make uh, the brain boosting salts I know there's some sort of component to the health as well once we get into that with uh, the uh, the clinic to make the different uh, stuff but that's it seems insane to say that, oh, well, healthcare is so far off, we're on episode 29, but this is a very deep mod, and I picked a difficult map to play. So, uh, stuff is just slow. It takes a long time. This is progressing reasonably well. It, it was always going to take a long time to fill up, but uh, it is what it is. It's fine. This is... Actually, I'm surprised to see just how quickly the metal blocks came up here. I guess they were hiding somewhere. Now it looks like our main problem is going to be planks and metal fasteners. I did not think that's what that was going to be. Okay, so gears-wise, our gears are full. And these mechanics lodges can't really do anything except make gears because I've already made the blueprints for... Uh, most of this stuff. You know, I haven't made the mechanical drill blueprints. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we'll make those. Because it already has the planks. Already has the logs. Because we needed to have those anyway. We already made the washing machine blueprints. Already made the water wheel. Already made the floodgate dam. And already made the ENS blueprint. So that's good. Now, is this finished? It is. How in the world did that happen? I I guess I just must be terrible at math. But 
This now, okay, ENS fancy mechanical blueprint. I want fancy architectural blueprint. And then this has to be changed to this, and then I'm just gonna make a bunch of those. We're not gonna need to make a scroll storage for this, I don't think, because I'm never gonna make more than five ENSs, I hope. But if we can get this actually, uh, you know, in progress, then that's gonna be great. That's gonna be really good. And then these architects can go back to doing literally anything else. Super fertilizing irrigation tower bath is a great building. Uh, balloon trader is also good. What does it take to research this? Okay. Well, if it's gonna let me do it, we'll we'll do it. Um, let's see under irrigation. That's this thing. Uh, for those of you who did not watch the previous series, this is a wonderful. Wonderful building. It, it can only do the same level that it's actually uh, attached to. But it has a huge range. If I can find a flat enough place to display it. This map, it might be kind of hard. But it's it's got a big range. Yeah, you see right there? And this is fantastic for getting large uh, quantities of farmland usable. Plus, it's a cool building that does a whole bunch of different stuff. It takes care of fun. It takes care of wet fur. Clean fur. Social life. Etc. So, uh, there is a reason why I would like to build one of those. Getting closer and closer here on the buried tank. Uh, we got one day left and we're down to 600 water. And this is still not low enough to be a problem. Um, this, uh, I won't turn these on yet, but I think we can finally start uh, turning these downstream ones back on. They're not, they're not going to pump it out in one day, and if they did, well, then I don't care because uh, the rice isn't going to die in one day. But we, we don't want to run out of water, especially if we're going to be trying to fill up these giant pumps. We do want to get a, a little bit of a head start back on that. This is a little irritating to do, and by a little, I mean definitely. But it, I think, is worth it to uh, try to keep water there as much as we can. Eventually, this will be full, and it won't matter. And we'll have plenty of storage here, and we'll be able to pump out of a big reservoir behind all this. Uh, but for right now, that's not uh, what reality is. Yeah, still waiting on the metal fasteners and the metal blocks going to be the most difficult things to do. Uh, because of the scrap metal situation being what it is, we just kind of have to uh, have to do what we have to do. That's getting salt, that's getting the coal, that's getting the coal. I don't have any iron left? No, because I had swapped these over. And this big mine doesn't necessarily have to make quartz. That's just what we had uh, we had decided we should do. So I'm going to turn this into... Yeah, I'm going to turn it into coal. Because we need to have storage and uh, stuff to do with that. So if I do large industrial piles, I can't put another mine here because of the way this is set up. But I can do a storage for coal uh, just right here. Eventually when they get to it. Yep, still working on filling this up, but it is uh, still looking okay. Planks are done. Metal blocks are getting there. We're going to have to wait, unfortunately, because this has no power. But it will have power. It is full of coal, full of scrap metal. And we're just going to have to wait two hours per metal block. We only need seven, so it should be within the first day or two of uh, this new cycle. Uh, but as far as the ENS blueprints are concerned, I've got... Well, it's washing machines. I've got fancy architectural blueprint. I've got fancy mechanical blueprint. I have 14 mechanical... Oh, I don't need 14 of these. So why... Okay, they're still working on this. They went to bed. So I guess we just kind of leave that alone for the time being. Anyway, the water's coming back. So hopefully uh, we can get our storage recharged. We do still have plenty of lemonade. And I do want to build a giant uh, storage tank for the lemonade. But again, all of this takes so much time. Like I cannot begin to impress upon you how much time this actually takes. But once we get there, to have a, a giant storage tank for the lemonade, that's really, really, really going to help because this is taking a lot of space in this area that we probably shouldn't be using this for. 
You just gotta do what you gotta do. That's all you can do. And now I have 28 unemployed beavers. I guess I could turn these back on. So now the water should be flowing nicely. Yeah, but we, we want all of this to be as quick as possible. Uncheck that. Yeah, get this back going again. I see four. That's Beaver Washing Machine, Fancy Blueprints. That's the Fancy Architectural ENS. Fancy Mechanical. So once that gets to five, I can turn these guys. Well, actually, you know what? These... We don't we don't need this to be making any more. I just need these to be fancified. That's uh that's all we're looking at. So um Sheesh, what am I supposed to do with all this? Don't make anything. Just you you're done. It's over. Just make the uh make the five fancy blueprints and we'll be uh we'll be done with it. Yes, yeah, so they got the yep. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't uh, done that, but that's fine. Progress continues at a snail's pace. The water has not yet reached the uh, the wheels here. It's going to be a little bit of time before it does. And I cannot believe that I didn't know until just... N well, okay, just now being 30 minutes ago, but... It's embarrassing I did not know this was here. Oh, well. What can you do? There's really, really nothing you can do. The mushroom situation is not fantastic, but it does seem to be improving. I have tons of braised cabbage. Uh, our cooking house here uh, is making this tea that we don't really need, but it is a good sink for the lotus flowers. That being said, I think the fried rice is a much better food to be making with those. Okay, here comes our power again. Yeah, now that we actually have rice and mushrooms being produced, I think that's going to be possible. This is already making the fried rice. Uh, but vegetable stew and mushroom stew is also stuff we can get into the vegetable stew. Oh, that'll use nenophars. Wow, I cannot believe we haven't been doing this. This is what happens when you don't read, folks. You don't know exactly what you're capable of. I have all, all these resources to look at. Anyway, uh, this will be good to go. The... Vegetable soup goes in not a tank, of course not. Um, does it can it go in the hand of soup? Surely it can oh yes it can. Alright, so um I think we might have to build another hand of soup. That's under storage. Okay, good, that's not hard to build. I just have to have a place to put it. And I've got space. Technically, I got space in a bunch of spots. If you want to be, uh, want to be technical about it, but uh, so that's oh, it's three by three. Okay, I thought I might be able to fit it in a two by two spot, but doesn't seem to be the case. And all this mess over here is doing uh, kimchi. See, this is stuff we could we could better optimize with the help of our uh, big platforms, but. For now, I just have to find a spot to put this stupid thing. Does this have to go on the ground? No. It just has to go somewhere. So what if... What if I put that over the uh, <laughs> over the river here? Is that going to help me do it? I have all these little tiny tanks that we could easily replace if I just build a giant one. But the giant tanks are very, very, very expensive to build. See, this almost would work too. This harvester's office is fine. I just, I've not really done myself any favors with how this is laid out here. And now we're flooding again. Hmm. That's annoying. This is closer. Mmm, we're getting there. We're getting there. Two more metal blocks, and then I got 26 metal fasteners. This is continuing uh, business as usual. Of course, I'm glad this is connected. I don't really have that much to do with it right now, but... I gotta get this also connected to go somewhere. I guess probably the easiest thing to do is just... Uh, have this go wherever it wants to go. 
just get these uh, little trees out of the way. Yeah, they can get these. I'm not worried about keeping the wood. But we are going to have to have things just actually connected here. And then that will just go connect right to there. And then, it's a little circuitous, but it will actually uh, be a big benefit to us get this done. Alright, the water has actually uh, reached this depth, which is huge. That's a lot of uh, stuff to keep up with. Yep, waiting on metal fasteners. I gotta find somewhere else to put this hand of soup, man. Where am I supposed... I mean, I could go up on top of this, but then I'm gonna have to... Uh... Oh, that's not a big... That's not a problem at all. So these are just crappy platforms. Yeah, we'll just completely redo all of this with our double stacks. Because then we can build on top of those bad boys. Nice and easy. That's going to be helpful for later. Uh, we can put ladders somewhere. I guess maybe right here would be a good place to put ladders. Yeah, just have that go right up against the top there. And then... Yeah, we're gonna have so much more space for activities. So this would be yeah, this would be a great place for some uh, soup hands. In fact, I could put two over here because we're making soup. Warm storage. Look at that! Look at that! We got soup. We got soup everywhere. A glorious, beautiful, fabulous, flawless, perfect soup storage. Why the soup storage needed that many adjectives, I could not tell you. But. Uh, we'll have a ladder over here as well. Look at us go, man. So this can be for our vegetable stew, and this can be for uh, fried rice, which, since we're making both of those here. Now, the uh, the recipe, I'm going to... Let's get to zero, and then I will swap this just to check. Okay, so 0.7 hours to make 25 fried rice. This one is two hours to make 22, but this this can only make fried rice. So I think we're okay leaving this on the fried rice and then leaving this on the uh, vegetable stew. I just wanted to check, make sure we weren't completely uh, losing our minds. Uh, but they'll take care of this eventually. And then we can move on to everything else. How close are we here? Actually pretty close. The metal fasteners seem to be ticking up ever so slowly. Connectivity being what it is, is good. We've made some big improvements, even if it doesn't feel like it. But we've made some nice, nice improvements in this episode. I just really want to see this done, and now I want to see all these hands of soup. That's a that's a great improvement to make, but they, uh, they got so much stuff to build, it's going to be kind of a... Uh, kind of a problem. Oh, did I use all my scaffoldings? I absolutely did. I absolutely used all my scaffoldings. That's a problem. Oh no, it's only 10% done with... Ugh. Now, if I if I change this back to scaffoldings, I'm not going to lose my materials, right? That I already put into this? Uh, I don't really know that it matters. That's a huge drag, though, so how can I... Uh, hmm. Let's see, Architect's Lodge... Okay, it's not that expensive to build. I'll just do another one. I just have to figure out a place to put it. Hmm. Because I don't really have a good spot for it. I don't really have a good spot for anything on this map. It is... It's, it's, it's deliberately difficult to actually do anything on this. Well, if only I could build platforms to uh, build on. Okay, well, um... If this is... Oh, it's a levee? That means I'm not going to be able to build it on top of platforms anyway. Well, let's um, let's give it a shot and see, because if it does work, I'm going to do it. Nope. Okay. I can't put it down in the river because that would obviously cause a lot of problems. Uh, I could use it here, but uh, this is really far away. I don't want to mess with that. Well, at least this is working kind of a slow process. What am I to 
do? It's got to go on the ground. Got to go on the ground. I, I guess I could put it here. Or somewhere over here. It's just really far away. I, I, eh, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just making a big deal out of nothing. Just uh, quit crying about it. And just build the thing. Okay, I hear you. Um, Sure. Sure, I'll just put it here. Scaffoldings it is. Except to actually make scaffoldings, it really should be the other one. Because now they've got to get all these materials over here. But uh, it's fine. I mean, the recipe for scaffolding is literally just planks and logs and, uh... Okay, that's paper. The actual planks are being made. Uh... I don't remember. These are screw presses. What was underneath this? Oh, pass through lodge. Okay. So... Oh, oh, those are being made... Okay, this rudimentary sawmill really is not doing itself any favors. Only having the one thing here, this needs to be put somewhere else. Maybe that's why we're having a problem with the planks, but... I got a bunch of these uh, log gnawing stations set up to do it, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Oh boy, hold on. The giant buried tank is actually... Uh, it's actually done, it just has to be finished. Well, if it's not finished, it's not... You know what I mean. It has the materials. The construction is just not yet complete. Once it is complete, then uh, we can start hauling all that water upstairs. And we're going to have a huge, huge increase to our storage. It's going to be over 11,000, which is fantastic. And of course, we'll just keep building more and more and more. And it's done. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's absolutely glorious. So maybe what we should do is we should set this to obtain. Prioritize by haulers. Get those guys in here. And yeah, look at this. We got 11,420 storage for water. And this is actually getting reasonably uh, reasonably full. Is it as fast as I would like it to be? No, it's definitely not. But we are making good progress. And we can speed it along with the help of uh, some more dynamite. And then another, uh, another Lido and another fluid dump. Because uh, there are going to be beavers living up here, and we do want to be able to actually use the space. But before this is actually usable to grow the lotuses, uh, we are going to have to blast out almost all of this. So we'll need to do that. We'll also need to put in a large farmhouse to facilitate, and that's one of the things that's going to take a little bit of time to do. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to make sense to put it. Uh, there is an upgrade for the water tightness that we could do. But uh, for now, it seems like, because this has to be on regular ground, it seems like we're going to need to place probably over in this area, depending on how this gets laid out. We're not going to have great access to all of our spots, but... Could be worse. This is ready to get exploded. I know this isn't really the ideal way to do it, but we're getting it done. And sometimes that matters more, just getting it done. So large pile for wood, I will relocate to here so we can have the uh, path go that way. The uh, large farmhouse needs a four deep space. I think our best shot of success is going to be uh, to get down here. Blast a space out. Maybe, uh, maybe these th three. Where is the... There it is. The doorway on this thing is going to be right about here. So you know what? It actually would make more sense to put... Not here. No, not you. Would make more sense to put this, these three. And the staircase is going to go, or not the staircase, the, uh, the ladder is going to go there. Set this to uh, prioritize my haulers. Uh, there's still no water in here because uh, it's a very, very, very long process to bring that much water up here. We're going to have to start pumping 
off the side of this, most likely once we can get this dam put in. But again, for the 18 millionth time in this series, I will continue telling you, it takes time. It is a very slow process. I'm just glad that we have this actually done. I honestly did not think it was going to be finished this episode. And now that this is where it is, uh, we are going to want to continue blasting out. I have 107 explosives ready to go. Uh, the beavers are just a little busy doing a bunch of different stuff, and that's uh, that's just the way it goes, folks. It takes time. How many times are you going to say it takes time? I don't know. It's just one of those things. All right, so that's going to be done. That will go away. Uh, this is actually put in place, so that's good. I can put a, a pair of ladders in, and then I can actually build the large farmhouse, and depending on how this is set up, we might even be able to have something planted before the end of the episode. I, I just, I really want to make sure that this is actually going to get done. How's our hands of soup? Okay. We've built a few few of these double-decker deals, but uh, unsurprisingly, these require scaffoldings that are not yet built because this process, 14 hours per scaffolding, maybe I should have thought about that a little bit before building all of these other platforms everywhere. I don't know. We'll just leave it as it is. But this is ready to go. Uh, okay. Come on. Thank you. Lag. So this can reach all of this space, which will also be irrigable, so we can grow pumpkins up here if we want. Uh, but, of course, the main attraction is our ladders here, which, of course, they can't go down yet because they're not there. But having that right there, very first uh, bit that get excavated out is going to be all set, ready to go. This can no longer reach any actual trees, so we're going to move him. I guess. No, that can't reach anything either. Because it's really only the spaces right here that I'm worried about. Mm. Okay, well, at this point, it really just needs to be uh, able to access other space over here. So I do three of these. Connect them with a path here, and they can get to work immediately, just as soon as these are constructed. So I've got beavers that don't have jobs. But there's still no water in this, because it all just keeps going into the uh, into the fluid dumps to fill this whole thing up. That's something. Eventually, I would really, really like to have these aquifer pumps. But again, that is a um, that is a science expense I do not care to do. Uh, the ENS can actually be researched. Let's do that. We've researched the ENS. Now we can build it. But there is one last thing we have to make before we can build it, and that is going to be... Um, wait, do I not have anvils? Oh, I ran out of anvils. So there's two things we have to make. Uh, I have to make an anvil, and we also have to make... The incredibly compact library set, which of course requires books. Okay, this is only 6%, so we're absolutely not making it in that one. Uh, but this guy is currently making the sunflower stuff. We're going to make incredibly compact library sets, which takes books, which have to be made in one of these buildings. Uh, actually, no, that's just comic books. That's just comic books. Who, who can make actual books? Is that the uh, library has to make the books? Uh. Oh, oh, I forgot. All right, well, say goodbye to science, I guess, for the next forever, because we have to make a bunch of books. Hmm. Then I guess this one is already set. Yes, I did. Change. It has to have 200, 200 books to get compressed into a library, whatever thing. So that's a next episode problem. So much of this stuff is a, a next episode problem. 
Alright, this is actually progressing substantially much quicker than I thought it would. All of this can't be reached by path? No, can it? Okay, cool. I did not think that was going to be a thing. So I can just go ahead and... I know I don't have this much right now in terms of explosives, but we will at some point. As long as somebody's actually making them. Yes, the mother of chaos children is making dynamite. That sounds like a very safe employment. Um, Mike Brody is making us our nitroglycerin, so that's... Do we have all of our materials for this? Okay, the nitroglycerin is the bottleneck here, but that's uh, that's fine, I suppose. Oh, sawdust. No, we have tons of sawdust. It's just not being uh, efficiently brought in. Well, we haven't built any more of this stuff. I guess this one ladder probably should be the most important one. I don't know where the rest of our scaffoldings are going. Planks are also kind of a problem. Hey, everything's a problem. It's a very slow process. Because I know, I know these aren't going to be done. This is also still waiting for what? Tools. Did I did I not make tools? Okay, crude saw blades can take a break. We now to make tools. All right. Well, we're learning, folks. It takes time. And now this is actually starting to fill to a degree that we can actually use, kind of. And once these guys go away, then I can blast this out a little bit more. I just have to make sure I don't remove access to stuff, so I guess we could just kind of, uh, kind of leave this the way it's supposed to be left and just uh, do our end of episode stuff here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of great stuff accomplished today. We did not get anything planted in this uh, upper reservoir, but it is in the process of working. And we built our large, giant, whatever adjective you want to assign to it, tank for water storage. And uh, the ENS is ready to go minus the incredibly compact library set and the anvil. So we'll, of course, have to keep making uh, some stuff next time for that. But we got to figure out where we're going to put that. And then we can start researching our mid and late game stuff, which is very exciting to do finally uh, in what will be episode 30. So I just am very thankful to have you along for the ride, Beard Boosters, as well. You see the names scrolling by on the screen. Uh, subsidizing these super long series. Uh, so it makes it possible for me to justify continuing this when the algorithm is screaming at me to make only brand new beaver content. And just constantly dump all my time and resources into that. But I like all of this stuff. So I think we can still have plenty of fun with this series and the other ones we're doing as well. So we'll keep on doing that. Thanks to those folks and their support. And oh boy, we have fun drama coming up now with the Bad Tide. Trying to figure out how I'm going to do my uh, diversion properly over there. Because I somehow managed to mess it up the, the time before. So we probably will have to start shunting before the Bad Tide starts. Don't let me forget. You're going to have to remind me. You're going to have to be good about this. Remind me uh, in the comments to not to do... Uh, the bad tide switch over too late or we're going to have poison occur. Uh, but I believe now that we are in just about uh, the right spot to end today's episode. We'll let them keep on uh, putting stuff where it has to go. It looks like there's actually no more trees to cut over here. Okay, there are still some over there. So we'll get these guys out of here. Set them up with some new lumberjack flags over on this side actually you know what we'll uh run a couple more things over here and here give them a very laggy path as it is there we go all right and there is water up here and we're doing something with our lotus flowers we're making our soups we actually have a little bit of vegetable stew uh, the unfortunate reality is that we do not have enough scaffolding to really do much of anything else over here. But we are going to get there in due time. We will build our hands of soup, we will build our warm storages, and we'll be in a really, really good spot. So, before we leave today, now that it is the end of the workday, uh, well, first of all, I'll let this guy who is carrying bombs go do what he's got to do. And then we're going to set this off. Why would you take that path to do? Okay. 
Oh, we got these guys still coming in. They're coming in hot. All right, we'll let you do your thing, but then we actually have to go away. All right. Oh, there's somebody else? Seriously? Go to bed. It's it's the middle of the night. It's okay not to take... Your, oh, seriously? Come on, man. Don't take your work home with you. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Put it, put it down. I want to set this off before we can leave. All right. Anybody else? No. Good. Don't get blown up. All right. That was just a tiny bit stressful, but... Now we have uh, a little bit more space, and it looks a lot less visually impressive now that all this water's back in this little hole here. But it is going to be just fine. We'll get everything set in place. Still no water in here, of course, there's not. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're going to leave it, folks. Have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and we will see you back on Thursday for more of this. Of course, we got uh, Update 6 Folktales coming tomorrow, and then Penguins on Tuesday. We're kings now over there, if you haven't been keeping track. But uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.